When rain falls on the state of Iowa, over 90% of it falls on private land. So if you're trying to solve soil and water conservation issues, and I think prairie vegetation is the solution, the key solution, then you've got to work with landowners, private landowners, to get them to incorporate native vegetation right into their farms. The government programs for planting particularly grassland species, uh, to me is a very exciting opportunity. I think it's a way of providing a little bit of additional income and incentive for farmers to plant the species that were here originally. The USDA farm programs are now really encouraging, compensating landowners for planting prairie plants on their farms. Native vegetation is being used for conservation purposes, and that's wonderful. We have huge soil and water conservation issues, and I think native vegetation is the key, you know, it's the key to the solution there. Keeping the water on the land, slowing the runoff. It's been great to see an emphasis placed on native plants um, in that context, and I think that's, that's more using native plants perhaps for utilitarian objectives, you know, soil, holding the soil, building the soil, uh, preventing erosion, um, there's also wildlife values to doing that. Wildlife uh, uses these larger continuous grassland acres. I believe that the larger the prairie planting, uh, the more value it has to wildlife in general. In some ways I sort of view it as an acknowledgement of the success of the prairie movement, the fact that we've got it into the bureaucratic system and now it's becoming a part of the system of plantings uh, on the set-aside acres or conservation reserve program acres, and there's a number of programs that, uh, that uh, grassland plantings uh, work very well. So in, in that sense, I'm excited about it. 